How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we got a massive PSA return. This is a submission for 93 cards. The grading fees came out to just over $1,300. We submitted these cards at the end of November, so I was able to capitalize on the TCG holiday specials. Each of these cards costed about $14 to get graded, which is normally $15 when I send them through bulk, so I saved about 100 bucks with the special. It took about a total of two months to get back to us. Super excited to open up this package because there is some major heat in here. So let's see what we got inside this PSA return. PSA definitely did not spare any expense concealing these cards and making sure they didn't move while in the shipping process. All right, as you guys can tell, we have a ton of cards to go through. So we're gonna go through this relatively quick. We don't wanna make this a super long video. Because we have a bunch of bangers in here, we're gonna to have to use the big boy Charizard in order to reveal the cards. I am super excited and anxious to get through all these cards. So let's go ahead and take a look at, let's go ahead and start off with this small stack here. This is in Japanese, Professor's Research in A9, Shauna, Japanese, full art, PSA 10, very nice. Jesse and James, full art from Sky Legend. PSA 10, very nice. Got a Japanese vintage card here. This is a Dragonite Hollow from Fossil. PSA 9, super ecstatic about that. There's a swirl right below his foot there. Some more Japanese vintage. Dark Hypno from Team Rocket in Japanese. PSA 5, more of a modern Japanese card. KD, full art, super rare. PSA 9. Moving on to some English. Ooh, we have Paradise Resort World Championship. This looks like to be Italian, and we got a 10. Very nice. We have another World Championship card, also another foreign card. This got a 10 as well. Very nice. Super ecstatic about World Championship 2023 cards coming back a 10. We have another one. This got a nine the world championship in korean and it got a 10 very nice pikachu v max this is a 25th anniversary golden box and this got a nine irita from v star universe this is in japanese psa 10 very nice going back to some vintage japanese zapdos from fossil this got a nine some more vintage Japanese. This is Dark Arbok from Team Rocket. This got a nine. Giovanni's Nido King from Gym 2 in Japanese. Nine as well. Aerodactyl from Fossil in Japanese. Seven. Another Fossil Dragonite uh, Hollow. This got a nine again. Moltres from Japanese Fossil. This got a nine hitmon lee from japanese fossil this got a nine as well there's a nice swirl right that he's kicking right there clefable from jungle in japanese this got a six Ooh, here's an interesting card this is very worn we have the top sun blastoise hollow foil i just wanted to get this essentially authenticated i wasn't expecting a very high grade but this got a one that's to be expected very nice though squirtle pokemon center this is the stamp 151 promo i believe i only sent one of these looking at the card now it is a little bit off center so i'm expecting a nine this got a nine back to some more japanese vintage we have a blaine's Moltres from gym two this got a eight erica's dragonair from gym very pretty card i think it's a swirl right in between it being wrapped around this got a eight blaine's arcanine from gym two this got a eight as well we have a rocket sapdos from gym two this got a nine rockets moltres from gym this got a eight misty's tentacle from gym this got a nine and the last card from this stack is a legendary collection reverse hollow cedra this got a nine very nice i'm ecstatic about that beautiful card look at those fireworks pop 
All right, we cleared some space to make room for the next batch of cards. Charizard Legendary Collection. This is the non holo version. This got a six. As you guys can tell already, this is a very damaged card. This is going to be a Venusaur. This got a three. This is Melanie from Japanese Silver Lance. This got a 10, very nice. Blues Tactics in Japanese Miracle Twins. This got a nine. Flannery from Silver Lance again. This got a eight. Mega Tokyo's Pikachu. This is the promo. If I'm not mistaken, this had a bit of wear that I was concerned about, but I definitely wanted to get it slabbed. This got a three. Dragonite Japanese from the Game Boy promo. I believe I sent two of these if I'm not mistaken. This one got a eight. Very nice. Bonnie from Forbidden Light Japanese. This got a nine. Viaplume GX from Dream League. I believe this is the secret rare version and it got a 10. Very nice. Glaceon V-Star from V-Star Universe. This is in Japanese. It got a 10. Very nice. Friends in Hisu from V-Star Universe. This got a 10 as well. Another Irida from V-Star Universe. This got a 8. Back to some vintage Japanese. We have another Dragonite Hollow from Fossil. This one got an 8. Mr. Mime from Jungle. This got a 10. Very nice. A Gem Mint Vintage card. Jolteon from Jungle for all you Evolution fans. This got a 8. Japanese Base Set Charizard. This got a 5. Kangaskhan from Jungle. This got a 6. Another Charizard from Japanese Base Set. This card got a 6 again. We have yet another Japanese Base Set Charizard. Apparently I sent a lot of Japanese Base Set Charizard. This got a 6 again. Base Set Venusaur. This got a 5. There's the other Dragonite Hollow from the Game Boy promo. This one has a swole right next to his head. This one got a 6. Another Japanese Team Rocket Zapdos from Gym 2. This one got a 10. Wow, a Gem Mint Zapdos Team Rocket. Sweet, beautiful card. Iconic card and in a Gem Mint 10. And the last card from this deck is going to be a Japanese Friends in Hisu. This got a 9. Moving on to the last two stacks we have left. We have Jack, the special art Japanese rare. This got a gem mint 10. Jack again, this is the super rare version. This got a 10 as well. We have Miriam, super rare version. This got a nine. Pikachu 25th anniversary. This is the reverse foil. This had such a cool foiling in it. I wanted to get it graded. This got a nine. Birthday Pikachu, 25th anniversary. This got a 10. Very nice. We have some more of the World Championship cards that we submitted. This looks to be in Spanish. This got a 10. Very nice. Here is another World Championship. This got a 9. And this one is in Portuguese. This got a Gem Mint 10. We have one in Thai. This got a 9. We have Fukoko. This is the art rare. This is such a cool, fun art card that I wanted to get it slabbed. This got a Gem Mint 10. Look at him. He's so happy with his apple. Ortega. This is the super rare. This is a 9. Dendra. Super rare. This got a 9. Faulkner. Super rare. This got a 10. Very nice. We have a Boss's Orders. Super rare in Japanese. This got a Gem Mint 10. We have another Katie Super Rare Full Art. This got a Gem Mint 10. We have a Rika. This is the Special Art Rare. And this got a 8. Another Katie Super Rare. This got a 9. Professor's Research. This is the Super Rare. This got a 9 as well. Another Miriam Super Rare. This one got a 8. And to finish this stack, we have another Japanese Vintage card. This is a Blaine's Arcanine from Gym 2. This got a five and the last stack of cards let's jump right into it dark charizard first edition this looks like a very clean copy from my eye in the front but the back has a bunch of wear this card is a psa 4 looking at the back of this card this is a very beat up worn card we call it well loved 
It's a base set Charizard. This got a PSA 2. Ooh, one of the heavy hitters of the PSA submission, a Anti Gold Star. This is a very beat up, worn card. You can tell it is very warped. I got this for a great price and I want to get it authenticated because it is a Gold Star. I'd imagine it's a 1 or 2 and it got a PSA 2. It's another worn out card, very heavy wear on the edges. It is a Shining Tyranitar. This I'd imagine is a probably a PSA 1 and it is. Just want to get it authenticated, get it slabbed, especially these worn out cards as the edges are significantly worn out. It doesn't quite look good in just a sleeve. I want to get it encapsulated. It just looks better for display. Ooh, one of the bigger cards of today it is the Pikachu Van Gogh. I believe we sent a couple of these. I'm hoping for really good grades. I'm not quite sure what we would get. This one got a nine we have a dark blastoise from team rocket this looks like a clean copy from the front looks pretty clean on the back a little bit of off centering left to right this one got a eight dark blastoise first edition this time this one got a nine very nice umbreon from neo discovery we sent a couple of these last time they were definitely beat up and worn hoping for better grades on this one just from looking at it this one has a lot less wear than the first two that we submitted so i'm hoping for a decent grade this got a seven very nice here's the other pikachu van gogh this one got a 10 very nice gem mint van gogh we have a dragonite from fossil this is a seven shining kabutops this is from neo destiny this got a four Dark Charizard first edition. This one is off center from left to right, I can tell, and even top to bottom. This got a nine, I'm happy with that. Dragonite first edition. This is the non hollow version. This got a four. Another Van Gogh Pikachu that we sent. This is a six. We might need to crack this one out. Not quite sure why this got a six. We have a Shadowless Venusaur. This one has a lot of scratches on the front lot of wear also on the back I'm not expecting a high grade on this this got a four gengar first edition this is a definitely played card as you guys can tell a lot of hollowing wear on it definitely ton of love on the back this got a four imakuni's doduo this is from gym two this got a eight another giovanni's nato king from gym two this got a nine. Brock's Nine Tails from Jim. This one got a nine again. And the last card from this massive submission is a world championship. This looks like to be in French and it got a 10. Very nice. That wraps up the 93 card submission. I will tell you guys that we've already recouped the cost of all those cards that we submitted. So the only thing we are concerned about is the $1,300 in grading fees that we paid. All the cards that you guys saw today will be available on our eBay store. But we are super ecstatic to get most of these cards back. I'm surprised of how many 10s we got back. I was just happy of some of the stuff that we got back. But thanks guys for watching. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see all of you guys in the next video.